we're going to go to the next speaker that I know that me and Victor and, and a lot of people have been actually waiting for, like the rising sun. And, and um, uh, I haven't met this person personally yet. Uh, he's actually coming from UK. Uh, but we have been able to actually see him through a couple of webinars. And, and last Monday, he was actually being part of our director plus call as well and and i know that so many leaders that the, the messages that went through after that uh or, or actually already when when this guy was speaking like my, my phone was going crazy like did you see this guy can you understand like where he's coming from like this one is whoa uh, and also i have one partner in uk who told me that hey i know this guy i was like so how do you know him well actually when I was uh, doing my final uh, exams or final work in the university, I actually used his research in my final uh, final work in, in university. I was like, really? Like, who is this guy? But but when we've been listening, this guy, like, I'm not I'm not even going to try to tell like what he does or who he is or where he's coming from. I'm I'm just so excited. I'm I'm so honored to present to you our next speaker, uh, our new global scientific research specialist, uh, Dr. Colin Robertson. Welcome, Colin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really nice to meet you. Really nice to, to see everybody. I've been uh, listening in for a little while now. Rebecca, your talk was just truly incredible. That's going to be hard. To follow up but thanks thanks for having me and thank you for the warm welcome i know victor is here somewhere thank you victor for your really kind messages and for inviting me to chat to you guys today it's a privilege thank you i guess i'm just gonna explain a bit of my background and um, what i've been doing for the past 25 years and really what's brought me to zinzino um as a researcher as a scientist, as a nutrition specialist, you know, what's made me move from that world of academics, of research, of being based in the lab, all those things to work with a nutrition company. So get comfortable, folks. I'll, I'll tell you a little story um, and I'll try and do this as, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, my background started really working in elite sports performance. So working with athletes who were getting ready to take part in national and, and international events. And then I was really passionate about wanting to work in a clinical setting. So I took a role as a clinical exercise physiologist. So I'd been sports science, done a master's, master's degree in nutrition. And I knew that I wanted to look at how we can take all that evidence and benefit people who were recovering from cancer, um, cardiovascular disease, pneumonia, you know, type two diabetes, whatever it was. I wanted to work with those people, and I did that for six years. You know, working within a big, huge hospital, working throughout the community, rehabilitation, research, morning, noon, and night. And then I wanted to go back to sports performance, so I did, and I was really lucky, and really for the past, you know. For a long time now, I've worked with everything from GB, so British athletes who have been going to the Olympics in Beijing, London, Rio. I've worked with people who are training, developing to do crazy things, climbing Everest, climbing K2, rowing across the Atlantic Ocean, rowing across the Pacific, swimming from Spain to Africa, preparing people to do the Marathon de Saab across the Sahara Desert. I've worked with elite special forces in the UK and abroad. I've been really, really fortunate. I've been able to work with humans who are undergoing the most demanding expectations and challenges physically, physiologically, psychologically. And I work with them with regards to their nutrition, their fitness, um, and really getting them prepared for the environment. Because when you go to the top of Everest, you are in a place that is trying to kill you. The environment wants to kill you. So we have to do a lot of preparation for that. That's not just learning how to climb on the ice. And the same when you row the ocean and these things. So I spent a great amount of time doing that. But all the way through that, 
I've always been involved in research and, and my PhD, my research was looking at fatigue, how we can overcome fatigue, looking at that from an exercise point of view, looking at that from a nutritional point of view, and really started to become part of a specialist team in the, in, in the United Kingdom that was recognized for being a real kind of powerhouse on that type of research and, and where that reaches everything from disease. And I've specialized a lot in, in cancer and type two diabetes all the way through to people doing sport. I have sat as a part of what we call the Greater Manchester Health Innovations Research Program here in the UK for a few years now. My specialist area again is helping people to overcome um, cancer. So when they've been treated for cancer, how we can recover them, rehabilitate them with good nutrition, exercise, lifestyle changes, how we can reverse type two diabetes. And I've been a part of the city's changing diabetes agenda for four years now, where we work in the UK. And it's a coordinated group all over the world, how we can change what's happening to our children and to our adults with regards to type two diabetes. You know, and this comes down largely to dietary choices, the things that people choose to eat and not moving enough. And over here in the UK, in, in the area that we operate, we've had 100% success at reversing type two diabetes when we give people really clear nutritional support and advice, teach them how to make better choices. And when we get them to increase that physical activity, I've been a part of the Westminster Forum in the UK, which is, a, which is a body that informs the government with regards to health strategy. I'm a part of what we call Active Cheshire. So here in the UK, I live in the Northwest. You've probably heard of Liverpool. I'm from Liverpool, very proud to be from Liverpool. And we have a county called Cheshire just next door, which is where I live now. And I work on a strategy level. And we look at infrastructure. How can we make the place better for people to be more physically active how can we get really clear nutrition health messages for people so that we can live better lives and stop you know really stop what we are witnessing in the world which is ever increasing poor quality of health despite our advances scientifically and technology despite how many more fitness centers we see leisure facilities across the world, across Western industrialized nations, across Europe, the US, Australia, the UK, health has got worse. Chronic health has got worse. So we need to stop that. And that's where I kind of position myself is saying, well, how can we do things better? So for a long time, I've been really fortunate. I've gone around the world, presented the conferences. I've done TEDx talks, produced research, been able to teach people at university, whether it's their degree, their master's, their PhD. Been really fortunate. And that piece of research that you kindly re referred to, you know, it's great to hear when, when other students are, are being able to access the information we share and it benefits them either with their pursuit of their degree or what they do in practice. And over here in the UK, and probably in, in America, what I've become really well known for is being able to take research evidence and turn it into practice, what we do. Because sometimes the research is over here and it's wonderful, but the average person has no idea what it says or what they can do with it. And that's been a real target of mine for the past 10 years. And in fact, I call myself a knowledge broker. What I do is I take that information and I make it so that the average person can understand it and empower choices in their life. However, we weren't getting very far because year on year, the health statistics keep getting worse. And I'm going everywhere and I'm speaking to people and I'm speaking to rooms of 100, 200, 4,000, doing things on, online, writing papers, books, and we're making this much change, this much change. And it's not enough. It's simply not enough. So cast your mind back. April 2020, the world has been hit by a pandemic. 
I'm here in my study that you can see behind me, my little happy place. And I'm working away on a project called epigenetics. And for those of you who don't know, epigenetics is simply, we look at what happens to us genetically with regards to the food we eat, the exercise that we, we undertake, and lifestyle choices, alcohol, smoking, you know, negative things. But I'm interested in the positive things. What can we do to make things better? So here I am typing away, writing up a big report that was going to inform one of the groups I sit on um, about omega-3. That's what I was writing about. I was writing about the epigenetic impact of omega and the fact that we don't eat enough of it, that our omega-3-6 ratio is compromised. There's, we just don't get enough omega-3. And we've got a problem because for people to get enough omega-3, you know, we'd have to say, right, so you have to eat fatty fish every single day. And we can't do that. There's two reasons why we can't do that. One, intensive aquaculture just means that there's not the same nutrient availability amongst fatty fish as there was 50, 60 years ago. So that's the first problem. The second problem is we need to feed billions of people every single day. And we just can't sustain that. The fishing industry can't achieve it. And the planet ecologically can't sustain that. We already take too much. We've already got an ecological problem we need to fix. We can't take more. So we need to get really clever. We need to be able to get more from less. We need to use our 21st century technology and be really smart and mean that with less, we can reach more. And this was the paper I was writing. So I'm working away. And as Victor might be able to tell you, and Rebecca will be able to tell you certainly, and anyone else on here who knows me a little bit better, when I'm working away, I don't answer the phone. When I'm working away, I don't respond to messages because I'm focused on what I'm doing. However, there are a handful of people who if the phone rings, I think I better answer that. And one of them, is an old friend of mine called Tony O'Neill. And for those that you don't know, Tony O'Neill is a big hitter in the world of, um, you know, commerce, you know, commercial business world. He's worked for BMW, Adidas, Under Armour, really senior sale positions, running global teams. You know, he's one of the people who, who grew the, the, the brand Under Armour in the UK and all across Europe. He's a good friend of mine and he's had some health issues and the phone started to ring. So I answered it. I said, okay, Tony, what, you know, what's the matter? Are you okay? And he said, Carl, someone has talked to me about a product um, and they said it'll be good for my health. And he goes, the only person I trust is you. Will you have a look at it for me? He said, and the other thing is, I think the business is really interesting. He said, I'm, I'm interested in the business. I think it's really exciting. He said, and I think this is the future of how business is going to be done. Um, and I knew he just moved from Under Armour to a, a really big company in Europe, like, you know, huge, big clothing company. And I thought, wow, if, if Tony's interested in a business, they're going to be huge. You know, he's worked with BMW, Adidas, Under Armour. This is going to be a big business. So I, so I said, who is it? And he said, Zinzino. Said, Never heard of him never heard of them and i said okay what, what's the product and he said well it's omega-3 i said well that's funny now i get asked a lot because of what i do i'm a registered you know nutritionist with the british dietetics association i'm a part of the advanced clinical practice group here in the uk that works with health education england so because of that people will ask me a lot of things and i get asked about products all the time and most of the time i have a quick look and I go, it's rubbish. Don't worry about it. Go back to your normal life. Forget about it. It's just rubbish. You know, they're just saying wonderful things and it's, it's rubbish. Don't worry about it. So when he said it's omega-3, I said, is it fish oil? And he said, no, no, it's not fish oil. It's not fish oil. I said, okay, I'll have a look. So I thought I'm working on an omega-3 pro you know, pro project. He wants to know about an omega-3 product. I'll take some time and it's Tony. I'll have a look. So I went on the website 
I have my notebook. I always have notebooks handy. Don't know about you guys. That's the life of a researcher. I've got stacks of them. And I got my notebook out and I thought, I'll write four things as to why this is rubbish. And then I'll send them a text message and I'll crack on with the rest of my day. And I opened up this website, Zinzino, and I clicked on and I went, wow, this, this looks really good. So I thought, they can't be that good. Nothing ever is. They're just saying the right things. So I'll, I'll have a real look. So I started to click through some of the pages, started to look at the ingredients, started to look at the claims they were making. And I actually rung him back. And I said, Tony, I'm going to need more time. I, this looks good. I won't lie, it looks good. But I don't, I don't, I don't trust it because it looks really good. Um, so I'm going to need, give me a couple of days. Let me have a look at it and let me, you know, find out for real. So I went and had a proper look. I looked at every single page, product, ingredient, certification. I looked at the labs. I looked at the type of blood analysis. I looked at whether or not that was genuinely independent. I rang the laboratory. They had no idea who I was. And I asked them some questions that only a legitimate laboratory could answer. And then I looked at the scientific, a scientific advisory panel and then it started to make sense. So I thought, right, okay, there's a lot of really good stuff being said here, but there's a lot of really good people who are making this stuff. And so I, I rung Tony back and actually another a joint, a mutual friend of ours was joined this call because he was interested. He'd heard about this and he is a high performance strength and conditioning coach, works with some of the biggest teams in the world. He's, you know, and, and Olympians for a long, long time. And whenever people like that ask me for nutrition advice, I have to get it right. Because if their athletes take something and they are tested and they get a positive drugs test, that's their career over. And it's also the career of the people who've been coaching them over. So I have to get it right. So Tony's on the call, Neil's on the call. And they said, Carl, what do you think? And I said, I think this is incredible. And so much so that I'm going to get my wife and my children to start taking this straight away. This is what people need to take. I'd stood up at a conference two years before in America. And I said to this audience, there were four and a half thousand people in the audience and there were some big food companies. And I said, why are we getting food so wrong? We've got all the technology. We know how to do it right. We understand the science. But why is nobody making ethical, good, good nutrition that is affordable to people, that makes a positive change in their lives? Why are we doing all this rubbish stuff? Why has no one stepped forward and made a really good 21st century product that helps people? That's what we need to do. And that's what I stated at that conference. And then there I was, and I'd found them. I hadn't found them. Someone had asked me to look at them. So I said to my friend, I said, yeah, you need to take it. It's going to help you 100% because I knew his health background. I said to Neil, your athletes can take this, and they should. It's really good stuff. And, you know, I think this is wonderful. So I'm in a position now for the first time in my career, professional career, where I can say to people, here's a product you should take. And I, what, I'm, I'm, I'm still not to this day. I don't sell Zinzino products. I'm not a salesperson. I'm a scientist. I'm a researcher. I'm an academic. So I do all the work behind the scenes as, as to what goes on with regards to nutrition. But for the first time ever, because people ask you all the time, can I take this? Should I take that? What do you think I should take? I was able to say, you should take this. You should take Balance Oil. And you should take Protect. And you should take Extend. You know, because... These are derived from food and will bring about a positive change to your health status from the start. So it's funny that Rebecca is on here because they were so impressed by my feedback and they wanted to get involved from a business point of view. They want, you know, Tony is sharp. Tony's like, I want to be involved. Zindino is incredible. This, this is the future of business. So, um, he said, will you come on a call like this? He goes, and we, will you just explain the science to a few people? I said, yeah, absolutely. Um, I said, so long as you don't pay me anything. I said, because if you pay me, 
then it makes it look like I'm just saying it because I'm being paid to say it. So I'm happy to do it for free. But that, and he said, well, great, brilliant. That's even better. Get on this call. So one call turned into two calls, turned into four calls, turned into 10 calls. And next minute I'm getting caught. And I was like, guys, I've got a career and a life and three children and a wife and a dog. And I like to go for a run, got my own time. I can't, you know, I can't just keep doing this as much as I love it. And I'm, and, and, and I think what you're doing is great. You know, I've got other things to do, but I did the odd call and by now, by the way, and this is, this is, this is a separate story. So my wife, we've had three children together and, you know, she was mid forties and was getting a bit of kind of changes that people get when they're getting older, getting a bit of bruising. She would bruise easily, getting a bit of joint pain, disrupted sleep, just not feeling great. And we tried a lot of things. We tried a lot of other changes to the diet. We'd looked at exercise, hadn't really brought a change. And then we started on balance oil. And all I can say is that if I had any doubts, objectively, independently as a, as a researcher and scientist, if I had any doubts, what I've witnessed firsthand with my wife would convince me of the, how well this works. But fortunately for me, I understand all the science behind it as well the difference the polyphenol makes to the omega-3, the fact that there's vitamin D in there, the fact that there's omega-9 in there. Balance oil is not fish oil. And I keep telling people this, balance oil is balance oil. And it works, it's like taking really high quality food. People will often contact me and say, you know, I've, I've got this, can I take balance oil? And I say, has your doctor told you to not eat fish or not have olive oil? And they go, no, I say, well, you can take balance oil. It's, it's, not a, it's not a chemical. It's not fake. It's not synthetic. It's really high quality food. Same for protect, same for extend. So I'll, I'll get towards the end now. I'm working away, got a great job, um, happy in my labs in Manchester, doing what I do. And Rebecca flew across to the UK and said, can you come and have a meeting with me? and said, Colin, would you be interested in working for Zinzino corporately? Would you like to get involved on the research side? And I tried to play it cool. I was like, well, I might be a little bit interested, you know, I'll have a chat, I'm okay. And I was thinking, this sounds great. So a week later, I'm on a call to Orion and Dog, and we're having a great chat. I felt like I'd known them for a long time. And they were asking me about my background. They'd had my CV. They then said, can you speak to the person who's head of product? Henrik Eder had a great chat to them, really explored some of the science and where they were coming from. And then dog being dog, he rung me on a Monday and said, Colin, would you come out to Sweden? We'd like to really spend more time with you and see whether you're a good fit for us. And I said, sure. When would you like me to come? And he said, tomorrow. I was like, you, you realize I'm in Manchester in the United Kingdom and I've got a job. He's like, yeah, yeah, come tomorrow. Come out tomorrow. We'll, we'll sort the flight out. Come out tomorrow. So I did. And I flew out. And the minute I walked into the head office in Sweden, it was like meeting up with old friends. And for half an hour, we just had a laugh and a chat and got to know each other. Dog was there, Henrik, Jacob. And then we got into some serious talk. We spent a lot of time on the product, on the business, on the ambition. And not once in, in two and a half days, not once did they say to me anything about, you know, there was, there was nothing about kind of, you know, crazy ideas. It was all about, we want to be the best. We want to create the best products. We want to keep improving those products. We wanted to be informed by research and good science. And we want to be the best business in the world that is changing people's health. That's what we want to do. That's our goal. That's the ambition of Zinzino. And I just thought this is brilliant because I'd spent 25 years trying to improve people's health and change it by about that much. And I knew that if we, can, if we can develop this, the reach that Zeno has already, we can change by this.
we can really start to impact on people's lives and make a difference. And what they wanted me to be was the, the quality assurance, research informed, legitimate, the real deal, and to make sure that what we developed going forward was that. So when they offered me a position, I was absolutely over the moon. It took no time for me to decide. I flew back to the UK, told my wife, you know, this is going to be the, this is going to be where we achieve all those goals, where we change people's health, where we make people live better lives, where we give people more opportunity to take ownership of their health from the start and empower positive changes. That's what we're about. And that's what I'm here to do. That's what they've brought me in to do. That's what I've been empowered to do is to bring in and to help Zinzino change people's lives. Because the, the biggest, the way Zinzino products make their mark is by making people feel better, by making people know that their health is in a better place and they have better options about how they're going to live their life and the quality of their life. And that's everything from taking the product, from what I've seen, the team mentality around selling the product. You know, what I've, I've seen in the past two and a half months since I've been full-time with Zenzino, the people I've met, the, the passion they have, the drive they have to achieve that, to move forward, to be successful on their own terms and to be successful by doing good in the world is remarkable. Some of the finest people I've ever met, motivated, driven, and looking to improve everything around them. So it's a privilege to be a part of it. It's an absolute privilege to be a part of it. And I've got big goals moving forward. We've got new, we've already got new products in the pipeline. We don't want to be a business. We don't want to be a company with stacks and stacks of products. We want to be a company with products that matter, real solutions for real problems. And we would rather work really hard on a handful of products that are really excellent than do a bit of work and have 20 products that do a little bit of something. We're focused on excellence, but we've got new products in the pipeline, game-changing products, world-first world products. And we will just build on that momentum and set about changing the health of the globe through simplicity by giving people a meaningful and realistic choice every single day. So I don't think I've forgotten anything. That's kind of where I'm at and what I'm up to. Um, I really appreciate you hearing me out. I'll be here in the background. I will no doubt get to speak to you again, meet you at events as the world unlocks and we go back to normal. But really, I hope that the value of what I can bring and what I'm focused on achieving for all of you guys are things that you can believe in, products that are the real deal. So that when you talk about them to people, you've got that confidence of knowing that it's the real thing, that it's not the same as those other kind of things that get promoted. What we're focused on is purely what we can do and how we can enrich people's lives. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed today's event. I hope you enjoy the rest of it today. And I really do look forward to seeing you all further down the road. Best of luck with it. Thank you very, very much for having me on. Thank you so much, Colin. That was that was truly amazing to hear that insight from you as a, as a really experienced researcher. And, and we're so happy and we're so honored to have you here and, and can't wait to hear some more about you and, and uh, meet you at some time in person as well. So thank you for having time for us. All the best to you and your family. And, and I hope that we get to hear to you soon. Brilliant. Thank you again. Enjoy the rest of it, people. Look forward to meeting you all. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you. you, Colin. Amazing. Cheers. No nii, sellised inimesed tulevad meile kogu aeg Zinzinosse juurde ja, ja, ja see on lihtsalt imeline, et, et kui ma olen varem öeldnud, et, et korporatsioon, need, kes meil on seal tip liidrid, no, nende, nende kõrval on lihtsalt imeline kõndida seda teekonda ja, ja jätkata selles arengu hoos ja, ja see, mis me tõesti veel teeme järgmiste tulevate aasta ja aasta kümnete ja võibolla aasta sadade jooksul, See saab olema pöördepunkt siin väga paljudele inimestele, et, et kindlasti muudame, muudame maailma elu, nagu Kolinga ütles.